Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are having an awesome day so far. So today I am going to review a lipstick for you and these are liquid lipsticks and I am talking about the ever so popular uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. So I am pretty sure that you must have already heard about them and may have seen a lot of reviews online but I thought I'll just share my thoughts on them and I will show swatches on my skin tone so you get a better idea if you're close to my skin tone. So if you're not really interested in the review or you already have these lipsticks and you just want to see the swatches then you can uh, jump to this uh, timestamp over here. And if you're still with me, I will tell you what I thought about these liquid lipsticks. First up, let me just tell you that I actually love these liquid lipsticks. These, these and the Cattle Bondi Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, these two are kind of my favorite ones because they are super matte and they last really a long time and they are not really, not very drying. They are pretty comfortable. So I really love them. So as you guys know, I have two kids and one is a small baby and I do carry her a lot. So whenever I am wearing cream lipsticks, she gets attracted to them and she'll just touch my lips and they will smear all over. That's why I prefer liquid lipsticks which are transfer proof. She can touch all she wants and they'll not budge. So I really like li liquid lipsticks which will just stay put like transfer proof but they need to be really 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 comfortable so i'm going to recommend to you only those liquid lipsticks which are really comfortable on my lips and abh ones are one of those lip liquid lipsticks which are really really comfortable so let me show you the packaging first uh, personally i don't really care for packaging but i don't know all the youtube videos uh, show packaging first so i guess many people do like to see the packaging so i will just show you the packaging personally it's okay the inside product is what matters the most so this uh, liquid lipsticks come in a packaging like this I'm sure many of you have already seen this it's a really really beautiful packaging no doubt very pretty it's an acrylic bottle and it's clear so you can see the color which is inside which is uh, very very handy and Anastasia Beverly Hills is written over here and you have the shade name over here and yeah very very sleek very nice packaging one of the best looking liquid lipsticks i have come across i <laughs> just applied some hand cream and i can't open the lipstick oops okay got it open this is the doe foot applicator it's a very very nice applicator it has kind of a slanty stiff uh, end and which is which makes it really easy to apply the liquid lipstick you can really go and get a nice sharp edge and then you can fill in so these ones this doe foot applicator i really really like i never mess up this liquid lipstick i always get a very precise application so the applicator is really nice the pigmentation of these liquid lipsticks are amazing superb they are one swipe pigmentation you can actually have get like one layer and you will be good to go you don't really have to put two layers but some of the lighter ones I do have to put two layers and sometimes some of the deeper ones also I apply two layers to get a nice even like a more deeper color. The texture of the liquid lipsticks are not like very uh, liquidy. They are pretty thick. It's almost like a mousse like texture, moussey texture. It is not very runny or liquidy. It does uh, settle down maybe in 30 to 30 seconds to uh, one minute settles down to a very very matte finish it's absolutely matte and it is pretty transfer proof this one i am wearing it for about uh, 20 30 minutes or so so let's test it so as you can see there is no transfer and even if you are drinking or eating like you're having some light coffee and sandwiches these pretty much stay put for me i have never really faced any issue but if i'm having like too much of all uh, like oily food like oily pasta or something like that then this is uh, going to fade a little bit like from the inner corners it is going to fade a little bit it's not going to go away absolutely you there'll be a little bit of fading if you want you can actually do a quick uh, touch up but usually i don't really touch up a uh, pretty much little bit of color is still there on my lips so after even after like heavy snack heavy lunch or dinner this is 
it's pretty much still there this is actually really really long lasting even the Kat Von D everlasting ones are pretty long lasting now about the comfort so these are quite comfortable liquid lipsticks as I already mentioned I absolutely love liquid lipsticks which are comfortable these are on a comfort level I would say they are probably uh, 8 out of 10 if you know the color pop ultra matte lipsticks which I do not like they are too 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 drying for me very very uncomfortable these are not like that obviously uh, and if you know like uh, which is the one the color bar the color bar liquid lipsticks the hot latte and all those liquid lipsticks those are like little drying they are a little like on the verge of uncomfortable but still they are okay but this one is not like that this is more much more comfortable than the color bar ones and if i say the cat Von D everlasting liquid lipstick i feel that the cat Von D ones are more comfortable this one is less comfortable this one feels a little bit more drying but the cat Von D ones a little less drying so that's like a little bit of a comparison on where this liquid lipstick stands at comfort and as i was already told you that these are pretty like transfer proof if you're not eating or drinking this is not going to come off it it's pretty transfer proof and what else there are a lot of shades there are like so many so many shades available like right from nude and pinks and mauves to very very nice deep shades unfortunately these are not very easily available here like in singapore also these are not very easily available you have to find resellers who are selling them i actually got all of them from the states uh, when my sister comes i just order from her she gets them for me now let me go into the swatches i will show you six shades which i have so yeah let's get started okay so this is the first one which i have it is called a dolce or dolce this is a very pretty like a uh, very like a soft pinky nude very very uh, light pinky nude so i will swatch it here this actually is a little bit like this doesn't suit me a lot because it's really really light this one is probably one of the rarely used ones i don't really wear this one because i think it it's not very flattering on my skin tone but if you have a lighter skin tone you are like from the fair to medium uh, skin tone this is going to look really really nice on you so this is the shade dolce the next shade which i have is called ashton and this is how it looks and this is a very very pretty nude shade on my skin tone i just love this liquid lipstick and this is ashton it is like a true nude on my skin tone like a your lips but better kind of a lipstick i just love this liquid lipstick and i wear it all the time i think it's going to finish really really soon this is ashton the next one which i have is probably my favorites this one i got in december and i think i've been wearing it like crazy after that this is the shade allison this is how it looks it's like a very pretty mauve nude shade this is so so beautiful it has more of pink and brown like a very pretty pinky mauve nude shade this is so so pretty I wear it all the time this is one of my favorite favorite nude lipsticks of all time if you are close to my skin tone or if you are slightly deeper fair whatever i think this is going to look really nice on a lot of skin tones you should definitely try this one this is the shade allison okay next i have the shade catherine this is such a pretty shade i love this shade as well uh, this is like a very nice pinky dusty rose shade i'm wearing it right now on my lips as well this is one of my favorites and this is what i'm wearing right now and i i just love it next i have two more shades also which i love this is called catnip and this is a very pretty uh, like almost a lilac -y pink shade very very pretty it has some lilac undertones but it is pretty pink pinky lilac purpley kind of lipstick and last but not the least definitely this is also one of my favorites this is called a craft and it's a very very pretty almost a plummy purpley pink like little bit deeper than catnip it looks really really nice on the lips 
this is also really pretty let me swatch it here it's really really deep and i love shades which are like this like purple toned pink pinks plummy pinks so that's it guys that was my quick review and a swatch of all the anastasia beverly hills liquid lipsticks that i own i really hope you that you like this video and this video was helpful to you and if this video was helpful then please don't forget to give that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're watching me for the first time do let me know which color was your favorite and if you own any of these colors or any other color then do let me know thank you so much for watching me today i will see you guys in my next video bye